Well, I'm Robin Youngs. I'm an ENT surgeon currently based in East Anglia. And for the past 30 years, I've been involved in initiatives to combat global deafness, chiefly working for two NGOs that work in Myanmar and Nepal. Also, I've been involved in global deafness for ENT UK. I set up the ENT UK Global Health Committee a couple of years ago, and they won an annual conference. I've also recently been appointed as Honorary Associate Professor at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And I'll be working with colleagues in the International Centre for Evidence in Disability on advocacy and research into deafness as a global issue. It's complex. Deafness is an invisible disability. You can't normally tell that somebody is deaf just by looking at them. And this reflects ignorance among society. There's a saying that blindness is tragic, but deafness is comic. In global health, a lot of attention has been focused on particularly communicable diseases, such as HIV and malaria. More recently, there's been a focus on non-communicable diseases with an appreciation that they represent a huge disease burden. But deafness tends to be at the bottom of the pile and has received very little attention. About half a billion or 6% of the world's population. And amongst those, 7% are children, a third are over 65, and that's a rapidly growing uh, number. And in general, it's estimated that the number of significantly deaf people is going to grow so that it reaches about a billion by 2050. Well, it's not easy to compare different diseases. However, the WHO Burden of Disease study in 2015 suggests that deafness is the fourth most important contribution to burden of disease when assessed by years lost through disability. Back pain, depression and iron deficiency anemia occupy the first three places. It's very much an increasing burden and that's compared with other global health problems such as infectious diseases, for example malaria, the burden of disease is actually decreasing. Well, deafness affects communication. Helen Keller was blind and deaf, and she famously said that blindness separates people from things, but deafness separates people from people. I had a patient recently, a very intelligent man, who had been given hearing aids, and he said something very perceptive. He said, when I, when I put my hearing aids in, people talk to me less, and that's something I hadn't really thought about before. In terms of effects, Children who are significantly deaf may not develop spoken language. Deaf adults can find it difficult to get employment and the jobs that they tend to get are lower paid. And the elderly deaf, which I've mentioned, is a very much an increasing problem are socially, socially isolated. Well, WHO estimates that the cost of unaddressed deafness is 800 billion US dollars a year. Now that figure is obviously an estimate, but it's made up of a number of factors. There's the cost to the health and education sectors. There's loss of productivity because of unemployment and premature retirement of deaf people. And also the societal costs of social isolation and stigmatization. In childhood, uh, many of the common childhood infections such as measles, mumps and rubella have associations with deafness. Chronic diseases such as diabetes, renal failure, chronic HIV infection have significant deafness associations. Perhaps the most re recent association is that of dementia with hearing loss. And it's been recognised that hearing loss is one of nine risk factors, in fact the most common risk factor associated with dementia. The interest in this of course is that deafness is treatable and there is some evidence that a hearing aid can actually protect the brain. But this is very much research at an early stage. There's a lot going on looking at this in detail. 